All right, Shalom, I'm going to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekagadash, the one the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations to you, sister. I came out there pushing the truth across the four corners of earth. All right, I'm the brother Shimon from Great Millstone, Chicago. Um, and this is what it meant uh, in the scriptures where it talks about the, the uh, gospel is going to be have to be preached across the four corners of the earth. All right, meaning... You know this, the, and and that's what we're seeing now. The celebrities, the the you know everybody talking about it. It's become a big discussion, all right? Because every direction our people turn, every way they look, all answers point back to uh, the prophecy of the scriptures. All answers point back to uh, the legacy of Israel. All answers point back to the Bible. All right. So it's no getting over it. It's no getting around it. That's why it says. Uh, the, 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 the word is uh, sharper than any two-edged sword, all right? And it's able to cut all doctrines, uh, everything else you turn towards, all right? And that's where all the answers at. But as you can see, the scriptures call our people uh, uh, sodas children, you know what I mean? Extremely stupid, you know, basically fools. Now you got my man Godfrey here. You know, I mess with Godfrey. He's positive. You know, he's, uh, he, you know... He's, 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 you know, he's, he has some, he has some sense about him. I put it like that, you know, strong guy. But this is why it's important to know who you are, all right? Because when you don't, the enemy could come and they could dismantle everything that you have, and that's what's happened over and over and again. That's why the scriptures talk about how the Lord gave us up to the heathen, you know, because we wanted to choose His ways. All right, we, we. Uh, we, 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 we threw down the mantle of being the greatest people on this earth because we wanted to be like these other people. And now we see where we're at. All right? But uh, I just wanted to uh, do some spiritual commentary from uh, what was being said because this guy, Vlad, you know, which he makes his money off of all the Israelites who come and do interviews, he knows what the Israelites. Here's the problem. With the Bible, whatever scriptures, there has been a lot of tampering with this shit. A lot of tampering. Now we're talking. And it has been tampering. All right, but the word still, the Lord still allowed us to receive his pure word. Okay? Because you have different versions of the Bible. People say, well, if there are different versions, then it's not the true. No. There is one true version, okay? Which it does have some clerical errors, but it's the truth. The King James Version of the Bible, 1611 King James Version. Talking about shit that happened thousands of years ago, which we don't fucking know. We nobody was there. I mean, uh, presently, we we everybody is talking about shit. You weren't over. You weren't there. There's no footage. We don't have footage on anything. All we can believe in. Yeah, we don't have footage. You know, ultimately, the belief in the scriptures is based on faith. But, however, the Lord did give us certain uh, pieces of evidence. You know, which all go back to the Bible, okay? What's that? The Moabite stone, the, um, damn, the, uh, you also have certain pictures which show diff men of, uh, s different shades of brown, which, you know, have the sa uh, similar look, characteristics, and hair texture of Israelite men, all right? Ranging from, uh, dark, dark brown. All the way up to light brown. You got different other stones which were found over here in the Western Hemisphere, which have uh, characters similar to Hebrew. Okay, you have certain languages in West Africa, once again, whose language is very similar to Hebrew. All right, you can look all these things up. All right, so, you know, like I said, my man Godfrey, the scriptures say you have a zeal, but not according to knowledge. There is certain information, but in order to piece it all together, you got to know the basics. You got to know the scriptures, all right? That's why it talks about the milk. There's stuff we see on the walls and the this and digging up shit. A lot of these architecture groups, I think a lot of them do a lot of fuck shit where they, like, changing shit. Like, I think sometimes some motherfucker might dig up some shit and go, oh, shit, it's black. Yo, don't tell anybody. Change that shit. Yeah, they did that. Of course they did that, all right? That's why the scriptures talk about... Uh, in uh, the Apocrypha, you know, the heathen set up uh, images in their likeness, okay? It talks about in Job, we always bring out uh, how they basically set their face up, you know, for them to, to be uh, 
the, the saints, you know. And that's exactly what they did. They whitewashed our history. All right, that's why you have these Edomites, they have the, the claim to the Middle East, you know, through the Balfour Declaration, you know, through them uh, being a world power. And then they go over there and they steal, all right? And they whitewash our images, and everybody knows that. All right, Godfrey's from Nigeria. They took all of the Nigerian artifacts, sent them over to here, you, you know, Amalek, because Amalek owns the museums, sent them over to, to uh, London. All right, different different uh, Amalekite museums across the world. All right, so they they stole that. And the scriptures talk about that. They don't they don't dwell at home. I really believe they do that shit. They be going into Egypt, trying to change the color of the walls, not making it making them white, because I'm saying biblically. Biblically, can we talk geographically and scientifically? Fuck all the spiritual shit. Right, right, and, and I know where you're going with you this. You know where I'm going with this. I'm saying. Yeah, he knows because he knows who we are. <laughs> he knows. The, the, the original Jews and Jesus and everyone else were all people of color. Right, right. So wait a minute. He just said it right there. The original Jews and the Israelites are the people of color. All right, and not, not just people of color because that kind of, you know, uh, minoritizes us, but brown-skinned people. Okay, just like here in America, Jake will say uh, the black and the brown. Well, look, we're all all different shades of brown. All right, and wait a minute, this guy Vlad, he'll tell you that he's a Jew. He'll say, "Yeah, I'm Jewish." You know, and then he benefits from uh, being a you know insider in the entertainment industry. He's able to uh, do all these interviews with these different artists, you know, based off of the benefits, and he actually knows that we are the original people. All right, and why is nobody questioning this? All right, let's see. And that's why the scriptures say. And this is Sirach 6 and 6. It says, Be in peace with many, nevertheless, have but one counselor of a thousand. Exactly. All right, and what do our people do? They go to council with all these different celebrities and people on the internet who have a uh, cult of personality. And uh, basically that's the that's the society we live in, all right? Everybody knows that. And the scriptures talk about that. Uh, an adulterous generation, you know, and that's that's a that's a big name too, man, adultery. You know, everybody's with somebody else's wife. Nothing sacred, you know, you, you go, you wear white, you take the vows, nothing sacred, man. Everything's about attention. Everything's about the flesh, all right? And like Godfrey just said, though, he, he just made the error. He said, let's forget about the spiritual. Well, you can't do that, all right? Because Israel is a spiritual people. All right, let's, uh, it says what? What is what, what, what I want? Uh, Revelation 7 and 1. That's not what I want. It's a like it. Yeah, Matthew 12 and 30. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. Exactly. And, uh, you know, basically, you know, to gather our people together, because that's what's going on right now, our people trying to gather together, but all of these false teachers and leaders, they're, they're scattering the flock. All right. Matt, what's his dude name? Uh, Master J and the not not fucking around coalition that just came out how he was doing Trump you know security for Trump they got the video on that okay all these different other boule leaders who you know they're jumping this way jumping that way uh, what was that uh, Joe Biden just announced Kamala Harris as a uh, running for VP which you know is heavily uh, brothers brothers talked about that man she. She might be a coolie, you know what I'm saying? She might not even be Jake, you know, but, you know, we'll see. You know, only only the angels know. All right, so you got all these people who trust in these different leaders, you know, and, 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 and they trust in them because they're, they're being put on media. Once again, that's the covering that Esau has set up, the television, even this phone. Play. You're, you, it can't be. No, you say this. It cannot be, you cannot say be it. argued. I want you to say argued. that. Let it come out your yes. mouth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it one more time. 
the original Jews, Jesus, and everyone else who was living in the Middle East. So let me tell you something. I have been to the Middle East. Go out there. Uh -huh. I have been to Israel, Egypt, Jordan, Bahrain, all these places I have been to. Yeah, we Egypt, all these places. It's all brown people. It's near the <laughs> equator. Okay, this is how it works. So, so and 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 see, this is why the scriptures say, you know, they'll uh, seek to please the poor, you know. But he, he's doing all of this. But but ask yourself this now: if we go over and make claim to Israel, onto what he believes is the land of his fathers and the possessions of his fathers. That's why the Balfour Declaration was set up. That's why the so-called Jews over there now. That's why the uh, whole uh, thing uh, um, of uh, them fighting and, and kicking out the uh, Ishmaelites in Palestine. You know, that's why all of that's going down because they believe that they're the original people. They believe they're the chosen people. They believe that they're the top people on this earth. All right. We just came off of a campaign where they tried to paint uh, Jake, black Native American Latino people, as anti-Semitic. All right, they just tried that. This person, not this person, not that person. If you if you say anything, because I think uh, it was a football player who said that. Yeah, we're the chosen people, but then he might have quoted Hitler or something else. So they ran with the anti-Semitism lane, and then they had. Uh, Max Kellerman, you know, he made a comment which, you know, I, I believe he might be an Amalekite too. I, I believe he actually said that. So yeah, all right. And this is this is what it meant uh, in the scriptures too, where it said we'll be at perpetually at war with Amalek. All right, because they're constantly they know who the, the the top leaders, the people behind the scenes, they know who we are. All right, you just heard it from Vlad himself. He just said it. All right, and he he's been to the Middle East. Brown people. There you go. Now, did some of those people move to different parts of the world and, you know, have babies with people who didn't look like them? White people, Asian people, Spanish people, and then start to become, to look like those people a hundred generations later? Because we're talking about 2,000 years, right? That's a hundred generations. Yes. Am I technically, is my bloodline linked to the original Jews? I don't care. No, it doesn't no, no, no it's not. <laughs> he just... <laughs> He just said it. He said it's not. You heard him say it. All right. Hey, I just got. Uh, I got. I got two more, man. It's, he he just admitted it. All right. That's the that's the Lord, man. That's the spirit of the Lord. All right. Cause uh, there is there is a chosen people. Let's see what the scriptures say. Yep. Isaiah forty four and one. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Exactly. He chose Israel. Point blank period. That's what the word uh, elect means. It means the chosen. All right, we know there's going to be 144,000 Israelite men of the elect. It said, Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun. Jeshurun means uh, firstborn, who I'm, who, whom I have chosen. Salaki. Right. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty and, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. Exactly. And, and that's what it means to be the chosen. All right? The Lord puts that blessing on you. He, he gives you that special spirit. That's why Israel were the, were the most special people on this planet. Because right? the Lord has that blessing put upon us. And he's held us to a higher standard. From the beginning of time. Right? It says, As they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses, one shall say, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. And uh, that's the point. That was the point. Oh, oh, oh. Verse 7. And who, as I, shall call and shall declare it, and set in order for me since I appointed the ancient people. Exactly. All right? Which they mentioned people going back thousands of years. We are those people who go back thousands of years. God for himself is. He just don't know. And the things, and I'm sure he's heard it before. Everybody's heard it at this point. Everybody knows. And the thing, they just have to accept it. And the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them. And that's where you get prophecy. All right, prophecy was never done away with. The Lord himself was a prophet. Matter. I don't 
give a shit. Do I consider myself chosen? No. The whole concept is fucking stupid. Not only is it stupid for Jews to think that way, but it also creates animosity for people who feel they're not chosen because then there's... <laughs> Shit, who cares? <laughs> the scriptures say to other nations outside of Israel or as a drop in a bucket. <laughs> <They don't laughs> yeah, of course he's going to say that because he's not one of the chosen. All right, and, and Godfrey's laughing, but he actually is one of the, 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 the uh, chosen. He's not, he's not one of the elect, I won't say it like that, but he's an Israelite animosity towards the people who think they're chosen then you get the arrogance of the people who think they're chosen yeah. and all it does is a big divisive clusterfuck yeah. that pisses everyone off right. and it ain't based on nothing it's all fucking mythology and fairy tales and everything else like that because let me tell you something as much as someone believes in jesus today there was someone who believed in thor just as strong and and there's no evidence proof prophecy ultimately what we believe is faith but when you go into that other shit, there's no prophecy, there's no t scripture, there's no book on none of that stuff. All that stuff is hearsay that men, you know, fables that men made up, all right? This is all stuff that's actually verified by different historians at the time, you know, which again is based on faith, but there is evidence of what we see in the scriptures. All right, so just boom, bam, bam. You got everybody talking about it. All right? Israel is the talk of the town. Hey, and that's that's because 2020 is putting spiritual pressure on these people. People are feeling it. All right? Call Allah, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Kagadash. Hey, that's why the scriptures say endure hardness until the end as a good soldier. All right? And it's talking about us as the Israelites. We got to go through hell. Yep, we got to go through that fire. But it is what it is, man. Shalom.